This moment, this crisis, this emergency, this impasse we find ourselves at requires this brand of leadership. It is, in fact, the only thing that can deliver us from this Muslim ban, the parasitic informants in this community, and the trumped up policies and state sanctioned Islamophobia still on the horizon. I understand your fear. Fear is natural right now. Fear is widespread. You are not alone in your fear. But channel that fear into action. This is an assault on every thinking member of the society. We won the first round, but that's not winning the first, that's not necessarily winning the battle. What's being done is a violation of the First and Fourteenth Amendments to the United States Constitution. Only hours after the Muslim ban was signed into law, the voice of a mother, who spoke the very language of my mother, was on the other side of the line. She told me about her son who shared my name, shared my faith, and was roughly my same age. My son is stuck, she said. He was a visa holder from Yemen, denied entry and detained in a New York City airport. The weight of her words were crushing and days later still haunt me. And we're able to do this because the American public has responded resoundingly in support of the ACLU. We now have some $20 million in unrestricted funds in their fight against this unlawful